Good morning. Right, uh, the economic situation, are things tightening up? Well, they are, aren't they? Um, I'll see more adverts, less adverts rather, and more people looking for work on some of the Facebook book groups. Uh, how bad is it going to get? Who knows? We don't know. Hope not. Hope it won't get too bad. Um, it always happens when interest rates start flying up. Um, you know, on the kind of jobs I do, the domestic side of it, you know, if someone wants a loft conversion done or extension done, they, they remortgage most people, don't they, on their house. So they stop doing that now because they don't know how much they're going to have to pay back, do they? Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to keep going up or not. We've seen it go up to like 14%, haven't we? It's about 6 now, is it? 6%? Um, same as house buying. Uh, you know, builders have stopped building because people stop buying houses because the mortgages are hard to get or um, just too expensive for people. Well, a friend of mine, Sonny, works for a group of firm. Uh, they laid him off a couple of weeks ago. People just not moving. So, what can we do to protect ourselves? Um, this is more aimed at lads on site. Uh, I mean, a lot of you young lads and you know the boys from Eastern and Central Europe have never seen a recession here before. Um, and it's not nice when it does happen, especially if you've got wife, kids, and mortgage and bills to pay. It can get a bit awkward, you know. When we had that bad one years ago, um, people were just throwing their keys away and uh, walking away and leaving their houses. And, and the council were rehousing them in council houses. Well, that's not going to happen now, is it? Because there aren't no council houses. Uh, you know, they all got sold off housing association, but there's a great big waiting list for them. So, I don't know. We've not got a lot of confidence in this government, to be quite honest, but anyway. So we've got to protect ourselves. So if you're on site and you get laid off, you've got your little two and one gang and that, first thing you've got to think of is, uh, I don't know, do some extensions, do something. And uh, the builders I work for, they use me because they trust me. They like the way I work. I moan a bit, but you wouldn't be a bricklayer if you didn't moan, would you? Uh, and, and we get on. Uh, but builders are builders, and the price is the price. Now you'd be in the pub, and there'd be a builder in there, and he'd have an extension, and uh, he'd hear you talking that you're out of work and that, and he'd approach you, so give us the price of this extension. And you do, and you've heard, oh, you've got to charge a bit more than what you charge on site. Uh, whatever you'd be getting, 700, 1,000, and I don't know, 20 pound a metre, that kind of money, but it's different on site, you know it's different. Uh, so you add a little bit more on. You turn up on the job, there's a the job, there's no pins, it's not set out so you've got to set it out, now this is a garage but so is an extension, you've got to get that bang on, because uh, there'll be a kitchen going and everything, that's got to be square, that's down to you, your responsibility, have you priced for that? Maybe not, uh, and then uh, you'll get it up to damp, the concrete will be out of level, you've got splits going in, sort it out. <laughs> <coughs> Don't worry, you say. We'll, uh, we'll charge you extras for that. <laughs> Don't bother because you won't get it. Um, it just don't work like that. Uh, and then you got your your wall starters going up. Either end, you can't really see them, but they are there. And you'll say to the builder, you're putting the wall starters up, and he goes, no, no, that's down to you. That's in your price. It's all part of your job. Yeah, but you ain't got an SDS drill, have you? Because you work on site. Why would you have an SDS drill? And there may be a slot to cut in into the cavity. We don't do that in this area, but some people do. You need a grinder. You ain't got an angle grinder, have you? Your governor has on site, but you ain't on site no more, are you? So you've got to get over that. Um, then you've got to think about where you're working, your area where you're working, not like here. We're um, walking down the next door, next door's um, alleyway. Uh, and we've got permission to do that, but as you can see, um, we've protected it all. There's polythene, then ply on top, there's uh, porcelain for, um, paving underneath that. Well, your builder may do that for you, he may not, he'll just leave it to you. Um, and obviously, because this pathway's being used, you, you know, you're going to put your, your bandstands up, we can talk about that in a second, and you're going to have to take them down every night and wash down and that. Have you priced for that? No, of course you haven't. Uh, anyway, you'll get it up, first lift, and you bring the bill up, well, you know, what about the scaffold? You say, I'll drop that round in the morning. What do you mean drop it round? Well, it's bandstands, trestles. Oh, right. You'll turn up in the morning, 
and uh, hang on. Sure, I've just got to give it a cup of tea. <laughs> um, I forgot where we were. Scavelling. Yeah, so you'll get there in the morning and he'd be there before you, don't worry about that. And there'll be three bandstands and four or five boards, all different sizes, just left there. Don't bother trying to ring because he won't answer the phone all day now. He'll just leave you to it. So there you go, there you'll be struggling with your scaffold. Uh, anyway, you get it up and uh, go and get your draw. And uh, you say, well, I've got hold a bit of money back. So why is that? Is it because um, there's a parapet to go out there? And you've got to come back and do that. So, you know, I'll, I'll pay you fully when you've done that. Oh, all right. Um, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. You'll, you might get this. Um, the front of this building, you can't see it that much. It's raked out. Can you see that? It'll say it's raked out because we want it weather struck like next door. Which have done a decent job of it there. And you'll go, well, I've never done weather struck before. I've only worked on site. And you'll say, well, can you do it or not? So, well, I don't know. So I'll have to get someone else. So um, I'll have to stop a few hundred quid off your price for that, because that was all in the price. Oh, there you go. So you've lost out on that. You've he's held some money back. So you trot off to Weatherspoons because that's all you can afford. And uh, sit there, have a divvy out, and realise you ain't hurt fuck all out of it. <clears throat> the moral of the story is people like me and do this work all the time. We know how to price it because we know. And a lot of the times it's day work because you know you can't price them um, do not sell yourself down to Swanee if you end up coming off site and working on extension get the right price I would say doubling the price of what you get on site on some extensions is not excessive at all um, you know the other thing here we've got to clean up here every night that mixer has to go out in the back garden every night. It's all time, time, you know, that's got to be washed down over there. So, uh, bear this in mind. Um, yeah, don't sell, sell yourself too cheap. Right, I'm going to finish this job. I'm sick of this job. I've got to get these up, look. Fucking fun that's going to be, isn't it? <laughs> this could be one of the days when the builder don't turn up. Um, he's just got to get a few more trestles actually now, what I was saying this is no reflection on this builder he's a good builder this bloke um, everything's here right enjoy the week there's one way of bonding these piers in you can do it the other way put take the airs across and put three quarters or a mitre back and then you have a king closure going that way if I'll show you that oh I learnt this, this handy. oh yeah we learnt this trick when we done the uh when did we build the pyramids? A few thousand years ago, wasn't it? When we done that. Well, that's how do you think they got them in? Yeah. That was all rope and block and tackle, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's the only way at the moment. <laughs> <laughs>